Hello, it's Keith from Amped Publishing, and today I'm going to review a WordPress plugin called PhotoPress. Uh, what PhotoPress does is it actually kind of uh, allows you to use some Photoshop-like features right inside of WordPress uh, for image editing. Now, what it also allows you to do is search uh, across really three million different images, royalty-free images, uh, that you can import right into your post with just a click of a button, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through all of that, um, and what first thing I'm gonna do, though, before we jump in is just talk a little bit about uh, the Pro version and and the basic version. So I have the pro version installed here. So I just want to show you what you're not going to get in the basic, um, and what you would and what you you would need to upgrade to pro to get these features. Okay. So basically, you have. Um, five sites right down here. So you have these five to begin with for free um, uh, with the basic uh, with the basic version um, to go search for royalty free images, okay? If, with, when you pick up the uh, pro version, you actually get 10 different uh, free royalty free image sites to choose from. And what it'll also do with the pro version is enable you to actually get images from Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, um, Google Drive, Facebook, Dropbox, Uzine, and Flickr. Okay, so you can basically integrate all of your accounts through all, all those sites and pull images from there as well. Now that again is with the uh, the pro version. Now the other big um, one with that is your fonts. Okay, so with the pro version, this only comes with the pro version. You're going to be able to access um, a tons of different fonts, uh, as you can see here. Let me click the all button. Uh, you'll see there's tons of different fonts that you can use and import, um, and there's just page after page of these things here. Um, as you can see, there's 25 at least, uh, you know, 728 different fonts that you can you can enable and use um, on this image editor, uh, and you can also use uh, effects. Okay, so the effects will be enabled as well, so you can basically put any kind of these text effects across any of these fonts as well. Now, that is, again, with the pro version, okay? So what you're looking at here is what you're going to use those Google fonts for. So any element that you have, if it's a header, uh, you know, header one, two, three, four, and so on, you can basically set kind of pre, uh, pre-set these fonts, these Google fonts, to automatically show up in your posts um, based on what type of text it is, right? So if it's a paragraph, if it's a list item, um, widget titles, widget content, and then, of course, all your header elements will automatically take on whatever font family you actually you place on there and also take on any effect that you have enabled, okay? And you can enable those effects right here. Now, again, that is with the pro version. Now, the last thing with the pro version you're going to get is this video, okay? So what you're actually able to do is you can upload a logo, okay? So I just have this little logo here uploaded, and it will basically put that right on top of all my videos that I use, okay? And I'll show you what the video um, feature looks like. It's just a one-click video, and it'll insert. You'll get custom players um, that you can put in there as well, and uh, and also have this 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 logo logo or this branding show up, right? So right, I can put it at 100%. Um, I can put it at uh, 1% to make it show all the way through. Um, so you can really set this thing for at whatever you, you'd like. So right now I'm just going to leave it at 66. Hit save all changes and we'll show you what that looks like when we get into an actual video. Now again, those are the pro features. So the, um, the front end price uh, for the basic version is $27. Uh, the Pro is $47. They're all one-time costs, okay? Uh, further down in the funnel, you've got uh, the ability to pick up a developer's license as well as a resale license. Um, and then he has a nice bundle of plugins that you can pick up as well. Now, those are all through the funnel, okay? So what I'm going to do is just concentrate a bit on showing you exactly what this imager, uh, image editor does. And then I'll jump into the videos and kind of show you what that does as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into a post, okay? So we'll go ahead and add a new post. All right, so we'll just um, photo press, let's see here, demo, okay. Now what you'll see is a big photo press button here, uh, as well as the photo press video here, okay. So let's just go ahead and get into the images first. So what you're going to see is it's going to bring up basically a search engine for you, okay. So you can upload, you can pick from your gallery, you can put in a URL, um, there's memes, uh, these are your social networks you want to pull from if you have them connected and you have that pro version, um, as well as background images you can insert as well, uh, and, and using. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for something like fitness. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go across all those sites that I had enabled and those settings that I showed you, and it's bringing back 601 results right now with those. I think I had four, um, yeah, four different ones set uh, to, to pull images from. So what I can do is I can grab any of these images. Um, so I'll just go ahead and let's just grab this one here. 
Um, at this point, what you can do is you can edit the file names, the titles, the captions. So you can basically get your SEO for these images um, right here. Um, your alt text, your description. You can apply a watermark to all of the images as well. Uh, set your alignments, uh, link it to a media file, link it to wherever you want it to link to, and also change that size of what you would like to insert into this post. Okay. Now you can also download these images once you have them created. Um, or I'm sorry. Uh, this particular image you can download if you wanted to take it out uh, and save it for later use. So what, whatever you want to do, you can actually export it out of here as well, okay? So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and um, edit this image, okay? So here's where kind of the power of PhotoPress comes in. Now you see you've got a lot of different um, a lot of different settings that you can mess with here. So you can crop this um, to whatever size you, you want to or crop whichever part of it out that you want. Okay, so I'm just going to just put it there for now. And we'll just hit uh, crop. Now, of course, there are um, height and um, other you know settings here that you can that you can use. Now we can also resize. All right, and you can do that here. You can scale pretty easily right here. Uh, you can we can also also restore you can always restore any of these to their originals um, There's a button for each of these settings that you can restore on okay, and you can add effects to it as well to go black and white uh, grayscale um, You know edge detection things like that uh, You can add um, Manual effects, okay, so you can actually change these yourself put in whatever you'd like uh, if you just want to play around with the settings um, and get it exactly the way that you want it uh, you can add borders. Uh, very simple to add borders. There's a five pixel border. Change the colors, um, you know, the type of uh, uh, that you'd like, the type of border that you'd like, um, and so forth. Okay. So we'll go ahead and remove that one for now. Uh, you can also add text. All right. So we'll just go ahead and add text. As you can see here, we're going to say, um, you know, fitness is king. Um, so there we go. Uh, we can also then, um, there's a bunch of just basic text settings for that as well. You can add more text uh, on top of that as well um, and change, you know, change colors. So let's go ahead and put that as something like red. And then, of course, the border here as well. Um, now, what we have uh, next uh, is, let's go to image. You can actually place another image right on top of this image. So if I go ahead and search, and it's going to search again, um, whatever you have enabled uh, for the, the images to pull. And I'm just going to pick this one here. And we're going to insert that image. All right, so you could drop basically images on top of images. Now, where this comes into play as well, as you'll see, that's over the top of the text. If we go to our layers here, and you'll see now that that is changing. So we can go above it, below it, whichever way you'd like to, you'd like to set it. Okay. You can also add shapes. They have um, you know, your basic shapes inside of here. You can change colors and borders on as well. Um, and there's also a draw tool um, that you can do. So you can really just draw around whatever you whatever you'd like to. Um, so you can delete all that as well. Um, and again, I showed you how the layers are, uh, how they work, how you can put one thing on top of, of the other as well. Now, of course, you can continue to edit your other uh, SEO information here as, as well. Okay, so when we're all done, I'm just going to hit insert image. And you're going to see there it is uh, inside of your post. Now, obviously, you go ahead and format that exactly how you'd want it. But it makes it real simple to do everything right in WordPress. You don't have to jump out to go to Photoshop and re-import images all the time um, just to make small little tweaks. Um, the, and, of course, the built-in image search as well is also very, very handy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just get rid of this picture here. And I'm just going to show you the video settings that they have as well. Okay, so what we have here is we're going to need a source. So I'm just going to jump out to YouTube and grab one of my videos that I have on my channel. <clears throat> All right, and we'll just grab this one for now. Okay. Uh, now, you have all these different skins that you're going to get with the Pro version as well. Um, so you'll be able to see uh, different ones. Actually, I'll put a few of them on there. I'll pick this one. Uh, you can hide the logo um, or, or display it if you'd like to. Um, you can have an image there instead of just wherever the, you know, whatever, wherever YouTube decides to load that initial frame. You can actually set what really kind of the thumbnail of the video there as well if you'd like. And, of course, um, set your width um, and height. All right. So I'm just going to insert this video. Let me make sure I copy this because I'm going to create another one right away. Okay, so we have that. Um, then I'll go ahead and drop it in there again. Okay, great. It keeps it for you. Uh, and then we'll put a new skin on it. And we'll insert that one. And we'll put another skin on it and insert that one. Okay. All right. So now if we were to go ahead and let's just save it as a draft. Okay. And we'll take a look at the 
post here for a second and show you what the di different video skins look like and the logo on top as well, okay? All right, so you'll see I have my logo up there on top. I've got this player um, uh, enabled there, this type of player here, and this type of player here. So you have 10, I think it's 10 different choices um, that you have um, that you can actually use uh, inside of that. Um, so... Uh, very simple, very simple to insert and and take care of your videos. Is also creating that branding as as well. Uh, make they make it very very simple. So that's uh, PhotoPress. Uh, very simple to use. I mean, it's a pretty cool little plugin. Uh, definitely helps you out with getting everything done, um, edit imaging, video videos um, right inside WordPress without having to jump in and out of different pieces of software. Um, so if it looks like something you want, um, I definitely suggest picking yours up. Uh, there's a link down in the description that you can. It'll take you over to the sales page. You can take a peek um, and see um, uh, and pick, pick up your copy. Uh, also, there's a link in the description to a bunch of uh, of bonuses that I've created. For for you um, and you'll get those as well if you purchase through my link um, so go ahead and click and pick yours up today